Hello everyone, I'm 209029MCM. The topic of my presentation today is a comparison between AIA and Prudential. This is the contain. Now let me introduce the statues background first. AIA was founded in 1919. It is currently the only insurer with its global headquarters in Hong Kong and is one of the world's largest life insurers. As of January 2020, AIA has a total market capitalization of 1.03 trillion Hong Kong dollars and rose from the fourth largest contribution of Hang Seng Index to the number one. Prudential started its business in Hong Kong in 1964 and was formally incorporated in Hong Kong as Prudential Assurance Company Limited in 2013. It is the largest insurance company in the UK by funds under management. It owns over 1,250 proprietors with a total value of over $7 billion. The next part is the business profile. AIA's business is focused on the Asian markets. In the first half of 2022, AIA's top five regions in terms of annualized new premium income were mainland China, Hong Kong, Thailand, Singapore, and Malaysia. In recent years, the mainland and Hong Kong have been AIA's two main engines of growth. However, these two engines were severely impacted during COVID-19. Prudential, on the other hand, has seen more significant changes in its business in recent years. The Prudential Group completed the spin-off of its U.S. Jackson business in 2021. After the divestment, Prudential's business will be very similar to that of AIA. In the first half of 2022, Prudential's top five regions in terms of APE sales were the mainland, Hong Kong, Indonesia, Malaysia, and Singapore. Therefore, in terms of business development, AIA and Prudential are re relatively similar, with the mainland and Hong Kong being the core of business growth. The next part is the crisis response capability. Let's see the figure. In the first half of 2019, the proportion of business in Hong Kong accounted for 49.2% and 42% of AIA and Prudential respectively. In the first half of 2022, the share falls to 15.9% and 10.3% respectively. This means that after the outbreak, the two figures are close, but AIA has a slight edge. Second, in mainland business, Prudential's pre premium income increased significantly from £260 million pounds in the first half of 2019 to $510 million in 2022, and its shares of business increased by 9.2%, while AIA's mainland premiums increased from $750 million to $840 million over this period, and its share increased by 3%. This shows that the prudential business in the mainland has grown at a significantly faster rate than AIA's in recent years. Third, Prudential's premium income in Asia was $2.42 billion in the first half of 2019, compared to $2.21 billion in the first half of 2022. AIA, on the other hand, fell from $3.44 billion to $2.78 billion, far more than Prudential. This is a side note to show that Prudential's group risk response is relatively good. The last part is the conclusion. In summary, the market currently focuses more on AIA. However, Prudential does have its own attractiveness and invest value, and its ability to cope with risk is also relatively good. It is believed that this valuation gap will gradually narrow in the future. This is my, the end of my presentation. Thanks for listening.